Hello everyone and welcome back to Microsoft Access 2016 Basics. My name is Steve Bishop and in this video we're going to be talking about filtering your SQL queries with the WHERE clause. So the SQL WHERE clause allows us to take all of our different records and extract just those records that we want to have returned. So in this case, let's say that we wanted to only get the people who are wearing an orange shirt. So we might do a select query from our people table. And then we would add after the from statement, we would say where, followed by the field name that we're going to be doing the filtering by, and we're setting it equal to the criteria which we're filtering it by. Now in this case, if we had a shirt column where we were holding some text data indicating the color of their shirt, we would use quotation marks to indicate a string of orange. And anywhere where a person in our people table was wearing an orange shirt would be pulled out and displayed for this select query. Let's take a look at this in our access database. So here we are in the select query from our last video. And let's say that on this query, I want to return those records where the person type is two. So I only want to see Shane, Denise, and Joyce, and not me or John. Now there's a perfectly good reason why I might want to do this. If we look at the people types table, which is the primary table of where that foreign key for person type points to, we can see that people type of two is a customer. So it's pretty often that we would want to do a query just like that, where we would want to see those people in our people table who are a customer. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually open this query back up in the design view. And you may see that there is just empty columns and there's no ability to change or modify any data down here on the bottom. To fix this, I'm just going to go into the SQL view by right clicking on any empty space here and selecting SQL view. And we'll go back to that actual SQL syntax in the background. And I'm going to change this to be actually people dot asterisk. And once I make that change, I can go ahead and save it. We'll go back into the design view again, and we'll see now it says people dot asterisk. So you may need to make that change just so that you can actually see the field down here in the bottom. So now, how do we filter this people table according to person type of two? Well, what you can do is just simply drag and drop the column that you want to filter by into one of these columns below. Now under the criteria row here, we can specify a particular value that we want to only show the results for. In this case, I'm gonna say that the person type needs to be a two. Now let's see what happens when we run this. So we see now that we get all of the people information, but we also have person type basically listed twice. Once it says people.person type and once it says field zero. So we have duplicate rows showing up here. And if I go back once again into the design view, we'll see that the reason why this is happening is because people.asterisk shows all of the columns for the people table. And since I have the show checkbox, that means all of those columns will be appearing in my results. But then I have the show checkbox selected for person type. So I can simply uncheck it and run my query again. And that extra column is now gone on my results. But it is still filtering according to that. Now, just to show you the actual SQL syntax in the background, let's take a look at the SQL view of this. You'll notice that we have where and a bunch of parentheses here. And that's just some extra syntax that Access Query Designer likes to add here. But essentially, we're saying where the person type is equal to two. I could go ahead and get rid of these parentheses and rerun our query, and we're still going to see the same results. The bottom line is what we're really actually doing here is we're simply saying where people.person type equals two. Going back to our results again, let's say that in addition to finding the people with a person type of two, Let's say that I wanted to find somebody with a name of Johnson. 
So J-O-H-N-S-O-N, so a last name of Johnson. Well, if I go back to my design view, and I'm going to drag and drop last name here, and the criteria that I want to put in here is Johnson. And if I go ahead and run this, we're going to see we just get the one value where Denise shows up because she is a last name of Johnson. And of course, the person type is two. And I forgot to uncheck the show checkbox. So therefore, field zero appears again. We can fix that once again by going and unchecking that. And you'll notice that Access automated, automatically added these quotation marks around Johnson. And we can go into the SQL view and actually see that same exact thing. Johnson has been added. And Access really insists on having all of these extra parentheses that are unnecessary. But that's fine. We can go ahead and leave it that way. And again, if we run it, we see just the one single query, uh, one single result. Now, the last thing that I'd like to show you here is that we can also do other types of operations aside from just seeing if a value is equal to another uh, a particular value. We can actually do some sort of equation here. So I'm going to take out what we're doing here for our last, uh, for our where statement here. I'm just going to get rid of both of these columns. And if we look at the results from our query, we notice that there are a lot of different salaries here. So let's say that I wanted to find all of those people who had a salary over or greater than 50,000. So that should only give us the results of Shane and Denise. So I'm going to go back up here and I'm going to go into design view. And I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop salary into the comments here or into the columns on the bottom. And I'm going to uncheck the show checkbox. And now for criteria, what I'm going to actually do is say where it is greater than 50,000. And now when I run this query, I can see all of those records where the salary is greater than 50,000. I could also do something like greater than or equals to 50,000. And run that. And we now see that me and Joyce also show up in this result. So we have multiple criteria that we can do. We can not only do uh, a, where some value is exactly equal to a, a particular value, but also we can do multiple criteria filtering, where again, we could say person type is perhaps equal to one, and the salary is greater than or equal to 50,000, and we see that that's only going to be me. So queries with the where clause are very, very powerful because they give you just those records that you're looking for. And when you combine that with just showing those fields that you're actually interested in, such as perhaps getting the ID, first name, and last name, when we run this, we can see just the ID, first name, and last name but the criteria is filtering it down so that we only get those people where the salary is greater than or equal to 50,000 and the person type is of one. So we're able to filter our data down to exactly and precisely those values we're looking for from our people table. Yeah.